What's up guys, my name is Boise Tupas and today we are gonna do an unboxing video and a quick review. I just bought another Racer Viper Ultimate but this time it's the Cyberpunk Edition. The box is black and yellow in color which matches the Cyberpunk theme. And man, you better show up next month. Let's go ahead and open it. So at first glance, it is matte yellow in color with some black around it. Let's go see the charging dock. Let's go see what else is in the box. We got some papers, user manual, and we have the charging cable that we can plug straight to. Our PC and to our charging dock station. Let's go ahead and turn on our mouse. So this is your mouse dangle and you can plug this straight to your gaming PC or on your charging dock station. Now let's turn on our mouse by switching this button from red which is currently set to off to on. Now it is green. And if you want to switch your DPI stages you can press this button and it will also show which DPI stages you're on depending on the LED light here. This mouse uses the optical sensor from Razer which is the Focus Plus with up to 20,000 dpi. The mouse feet is white or silver in color and it is 100% PTFE. The mouse is matte yellow in color there is some glossy black around the mouse wheel. The mouse wheel itself is black and with some greenish blue color. More like a cyan color. The side has a rubberized grip. 
and it has two buttons for right-handed users and it has two more buttons on the right hand side of the mouse and this is for left-handed users out of the box the mouse is currently set for right-handed users but you can change this through Synapse if you are a left-handed user let's look at the aesthetic design of the mouse you have your Razer logo and that's RGB the Cyberpunk 2077 logo that's not RGB and by the way those are not stickers it's actually a paint job and there are four crosshairs two on each side there are a few lines also I don't know if you can read this but it says neural connection status active And I'm not sure if that's a barcode or not. There's also some matte black around here. And that's also matte black. That's not glossy black. When it comes to technology, this mouse comes with Razer Optical Mouse Switch and it also uses Razer's Hyperspeed Wireless Technology. You can also store up to 5 onboard memory profiles and it weighs only 76 grams. It's 2 grams heavier compared to the original Razer Viper Ultimate which is the black one and it's 2 grams lighter compared to my Razer Viper Ultimate Mercury Edition and honestly guys I can't tell the weight difference between the two when it comes to battery life you can actually use this mouse up to 70 hours but that depends on the level of RGB brightness that you currently set your mouse into and if you're like me where I always put the RGB brightness to 100% I doubt that the mouse is gonna make it to 70 hours without charging. Just in case your mouse run out of battery and you don't have the time to actually stop what you're doing and charge your mouse, what you can do, you can actually unplug your mouse charging dock station and use this cable to charge your mouse while you're using it. As usual guys, if you're planning to play with different types of RGB effects, you need to download and install Razer Synapse. In there, you can also adjust your DPI changes, your polling rate, and also your power saving feature. One more thing that I would like to mention to you is that you can manually calibrate your mouse tracking distance in millimeter. And by the way, you can completely turn off the RGB lights which is the Razer logo through Synapse. So between the mouse and the charging dock station, it is actually magnetic. There is some pull to it. When it comes to price, this is a very expensive mouse. It's $160 US and that's $235 Canadian. Maybe because it is a limited edition with a custom paint job. If you enjoy the content, please like and subscribe. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.